Dr. Wood, author of the book, Miracles and Minutes. And today I'm going to talk about real relationships versus fake ones. <laughs> so in the world today, there's plenty of fake people. They're pretending to be something they're not. What they say and what they do don't match. And what happens is that causes stress for the person. They're stressed out all the time. And they're stressed out trying to live up to an image that's impossible to actually execute in the real world. Or... It is possible, but they don't have the skills to do that. So, <clears throat> a lot of people are stressed out today, and where they're living is in their head. Thinking, 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 thinking. <clears throat> so, let me ask you a question. What is a tree? If you look in your head, you don't know really what a tree is. You actually have to look outside your head of thought and look at a tree. And each tree is different, by the way. <laughs> so you don't know that tree. What am I saying here? What I'm trying to express to people is they believe that if they just keep thinking, they'll have the answers. You won't. <laughs> what you have is confusion. <laughs> what you have is doubt. What you have is judgment of yourself and others. And then judgment leads to punishment. And you're wondering why your life doesn't work out. Because you think too much. So, you know, there's, there's The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle and all that stuff. It basically is get present. Become present. Aware. What does that mean? Like, knock it, knock it the hell off. Look, I have drills that I teach to patients in the office. So you can stare at an object. Focus. Be with it. Don't label it. In other words, judge it. If you're a baby, you didn't know if it was white, black, you didn't know metal, you know, cotton, shirt, you didn't know any of those words. You had none of those words in your head. You know what was there? Nothing. But what was there was basically just observation. To observe without prejudice. To prejudge it. What happens is you'll be surprised that the environment itself as you become present, you'll just know what it is. You can hear it express itself. Sounds weird, sounds odd, but you'll be surprised when you're in a state of observation. Just observe. Huh, I wonder what that is. I have no clue. You'll know, you'll just know. When you start thinking about who someone is, what happens is you make up a story in your head and you're adding your meaning to it. So I was dating this one girl and basically I would say something and I could tell she was thinking. She wasn't listening. To, she took my words and then added her meanings to it. That's not what I said. You're making it mean something I didn't say. So what happens is she's in a state of now surprise. She's thinking, is thinking, and thinking, thinking like, I need to solve this. I need to solve this. And what if? And what if? Blah 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 blah. blah. If I had the answers, then I could finally rest. I could finally calm down. I could finally relax. I could finally be at peace. If I just find the answers in here and, and think about it enough, then I'll know. Then I'll know. Then I'll know. And actuality is, you don't know. Actually, you know less about what is here in the moment. <laughs> the thinking causes analysis paralysis, then you can't make a decision. You get stuck in life. You usually go to catastrophic thinking, which is you always think the worst, versus thinking the best. What can you use thinking for? You use it to create your life. Huh. You can lose, use your line of question go to ask, who am I? What is it I like to do? Who am I? Write it on a sheet of paper, and then look at it. Some of the things on there may be very negative and ask, is that really who I am? So now you can look at how you think about yourself. Is that the way you want to think about yourself? Would you want to think that way about your kid, your mother, or someone you really love and care about? Would you say those things to the person that you love the same way you're thinking about yourself or even someone you love? So if you think that way about yourself, You'll tend to think that way about others. And what happens is you're not being nice. 
You're not being kind. So getting present, all great observation. I mean, all Einstein observed himself, watched himself, observed himself riding on a beam of light, and he got E equals MC squared. He got it from observing. Isaac Newton observed the apple fall from the tree. Copernicus observed how the planets moved. Boom, he knew. He had truth from observation. Not from, <laughs> you know, I see ships go out there and it looks like it's flat, therefore the world's flat. Maybe the observation isn't correct. Thinking too much, just observe. Don't tell it what it is. Let it express what it is. Same thing in human conversation. Let someone express who they are. The problem is most people don't even know who they are. I have a good sense of myself. I spent time with myself, looking at myself, asking, who am I? What is it I love to do? What is it I love to express? What is it I want to share? What is it I want to contribute to the world? <laughs> you know, when you get to know yourself, you can finally get to know others. And it's not from thinking. You can ask yourself questions, observe what you like to do. What are you curious about? Get out of your head. Focus on something. And just observe. Now you start to practice how to observe. You're getting out of your head, into the world, into the moment. And you will reach a state. You know where peace, peace love, and joy are? <laughs> In this moment. Moses asked God, what's your name? I am. What's that mean? Right now. <laughs> In this moment. In this now. In the present moment. And what is God? He's love. He's joy, peace, contentment, heaven. You want to enter heaven? Get to this moment. But that means you have to get out of your head. What am I going to do next? What's going to happen now? Blah, 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 blah. This is thinking, 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 and what if, and what if, blah, 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 blah. Relax, man. Look at something. Observe it. No labels. No judgments. Don't tell it what it is. That's a picture. Forget all that. No, no, nothing. Just be with it. And just how long can you stay with it? With it. And what that teaches you is how to be with someone else, being with them, and enjoying this moment with them together. Without criticizing, judging, labeling, and making up stories. It's Dr. Wood teaching you how to break out of overthinking through observation, how to get into this moment quickly. And you can also use the Wim Hof method of breathing, which controls the nervous system, or some Qigong, or some other breathing methods. So observing in the breathing at the same time, you're going to be in this moment really quick. You're going to learn how to create states of equanimity. You're going to learn how to be at peace. And it's a beautiful gift, man. And you'll love it. And you'll actually can now listen to who you love and who you care about without having to make up shit about them. You can let them be themselves and be thankful for being with them. Have a great day.